Now the trickiest thing about using the octave key is the transition from the upper octave, which we're in now with middle D, back to the lower octave. So the note directly below D is C. And if you remember, C is played just with your middle finger of your left hand. It sounds like this. So you can see there's lots of fingers that move when we go between C and octave D. So let's first of all just try that finger movement and see if we can get it as smooth as possible. So with C, we've just got our middle finger on with our left hand. Then we need to add all six fingers down plus our octave key. So let's start with C and then move your fingers to D and then back to C and then back to D.